hi everyone welcome to this video so in this video we are going to learn 5.2 definite integral which is the second subtopic of topic 5 integration okay so there are two sections of this subtopic which is to define definite integral for continuous function on closed interval a b and also to determine the value of the definite integral okay first we are going to look at the first section Okay, to define definite integral for continuous function. Okay, let's look at the definition. So we let f to be continuous on a closed interval a b. The definite integral of f from a to b is given by the following. Okay, which f uh, capital of x is the entire derivative of f x. The numbers a and b are the limits of the integral with a being the lower limit and b is the upper limit. For the closed interval AB, it is always assumed that A is less than B. In this context, the term limit ha here refers to the largest and smallest number in the interval. Okay, So there are three rules of definite integrals listed here, which is the first one is if A is less than B, uh, then the definite integral from f of x dx from A to B equals to minus uh, definite integral from b to a okay so it is reverse okay the next one is if f of a exists so the definite integral of f of x from a to a equals to zero okay the last one is if f is continuous on the interval uh, a b close interval a b then f is integrable on that interval Uh, the next one is the properties of definite integral. So we have five properties listed here. Okay, for the first one, uh, if we are uh, to uh, integrate c uh, dx from b to a and uh, from a to b, so this is what we are going to write. So it it is equal to this one. Okay, where c is any constant. Okay, for B, if we uh, add or subtract two functions with the same limit, we can separate it. Okay, the next one is if we have uh, a function multiplied by any constant. Okay, so we can take out the constant and then just uh, integrate the function. Okay, and then the next one is if we have... Um, limit from a to c we can uh, separate the limit okay which we separate here a to b and then b to c okay? because it is continuous okay okay the next one is if f of x is strictly positive uh, for a less than equal b less than equal c then the integration definite integral integral from a to b uh, is greater than or equals to 0.